Welcome to Gentle Fit with Valerie. Today's workout, uh, strength workout is going to be with our hand weights, so make sure you have those handy. As usual, make sure you've properly warmed up before doing this workout and ensure that you spend some time stretching the muscles that you've used in this workout once you're done. Okay, let's get started. Grab your weights. You can do this seated or standing, it's up to you. Standing will uh, expand a little bit more calories than seated, um, but seated allows you to sometimes be a bit more active with less fatigue. So you do what is uh, good for you. Okay, so starting with shoulder flexion, arms are at the sides, facing in. Let's lift to shoulder height and release down. Breathe in up. Breathing out. One more on each side. Let's do some bicep curls. Again, starting with the hands facing in. As you bend the elbow, twist so that your hand is facing, or the palm of your hand is facing the shoulder. Two more on each side. Great, put one of your weights down. We're gonna do some tricep work next. Couple of options for you. You could, if you can, um, keep your shoulder a little bit higher than 90 degrees and hold the elbow, you can do the flexion and extension this way. If that's not comfortable, you need to lean forward, bring the elbow up, keep it to the side, and extend your elbow that way, only moving the lower arm. So I'm gonna do one on one side and the other on the other side, okay? So let's get started. Being mindful to keep your hand in neutral so you don't bump your head with the weight that is in your hand. Keep that elbow stable. Two more. Great, switch hand. I'll do the other version for the other arm. So keeping your back straight, you can put your forearm on your knees, bring that elbow up, keep it at your side, expand the elbow.
one more. Great. Switch hands. We're going to do a little bit of core work. So we're going to do opposite hand or elbow to knee. If you're doing the elbow and you want a bit extra, you can keep your weight around the shoulder like so. Take your breath in. Breathe out, reach over. Two more. Great switching side. Again, nice and tall, breath in, breathing out, reach elbow or hand to knee. down for now. I'm gonna back my chair up a bit. Everyone's favorite is next sit to stand. If you want to add extra resistance you can keep your weight in front like so. Um, if you don't want to you don't have to and if you have to use your hands to help you get up please do so as well. Um, I want to make sure that you're controlling your motion up and motion down. I don't want anybody letting themselves just fall back into the chair. That's very important. Remember to follow your breathing, breathing out on the most challenging part, which is getting up, and the other challenging part is when you're coming back down. Ready? We're going for 12. Breathe in. Breathing out, breathe in, breathing out, that's three, <coughs> excuse me. job. Feel free to repeat that again if you want a bit more. We're going to grab both our weights and we're going to stand up. Hands are in front of your thighs. Shoulders are down. Nice straight back. We're going to do the upright row. Breathing in. Breathing out. So bringing your elbows up to about shoulder height.
putting those weights aside. Standing behind your chair, we're doing hip abduction. So kicking the leg to the side, keeping the knee straight and toes pointing forward. One more, switch side. Last one, perfect. Now I'm going to turn to the side, we're doing hip extension. So same position facing your chair, this time you're kicking your leg straight back. Last one. Perfect. Last exercise for the calves. Feet hip width apart, up onto your toes. Last one. Excellent. That will conclude our strength workout today. Make sure to stretch the calves, the thighs, the shoulders, the arms, front and back um, after you're done this workout so that you don't get too sore tomorrow. Thank you for watching. See you next time.